Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm Mr. Wemp. This is Digital Electronics. Uh, we're actually going to be looking at one of our first topics, uh, scientific and engineering notation. In digital electronics, we end up dealing with a lot of either very large numbers or very small numbers. And since we have these very large and very small numbers, they get kind of difficult to deal with. So we have uh, scientific and engineering notation. Now, scientific notation shouldn't be anything new to most of you since you've done it before. So scientific engineer or notation uh, basically is a way to take a very large or very small number and get into more of a bite-sized chunk. So we, we're all familiar with the point zero 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 nine. <clears throat> okay. And that number is way too small to be able to deal with. And so what scientific notation says is that we want a number to be between 1 and 9.99 okay so that's what we're looking for is that number now this number is not a whole number that's between 1 and 9.99 okay so what do we have to do to make it do that well we're gonna have to move this decimal place I'm gonna choose a different color here we have to take this decimal place and we're gonna have to move it over 1 2 3 4 5 6 and right there is where a lot of people would stop, but that's 0.9, so we need to move a seventh. So we have seven places. And when we move that decimal seven places to the right, <clears throat> we're actually going to be saying that this number is now 9 times 10 to the seventh. And since we're going to the right, is it a positive or a negative? Well, we're taking it and we take this 9 times 10 to the 7th. If we were to leave it positive, uh, 10 to the 7th, we'd end up with all these zeros over on this side. So we're going to the right, so it's going to be a negative 7. Okay. So to the right is a negative number. Okay. Now let's look at this same number again, uh, but this time we'll look at, I don't know, we'll make it a huge number. So we'll take it and make it 9 with a whole bunch of zeros after it. Um, so that we have this this big giant number. Now, <clears throat> this number is obviously not between 1 and 9.99. So what am I going to have to do? Well, I'm going to have to take it and I'm going to have to put my decimal in and move it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 places. So I have 8 places and it's going to the left. Now, if my if I'm moving it eight places to the left, basically what I'm going to end up with is nine times ten to the eighth. And because I'm going to the left, if I were to take this nine and multiply it by ten to the eighth, I would end up with this nine. I don't know what it is, nine bazillion or whatever. <clears throat> I'd end up with this really big number. So if it goes to the left, it's going to be a positive. Okay. So there's our scientific notation and a couple of examples. Now we use scientific notation quite a bit, but we use another uh, type of notation which is called uh, engineering notation. Okay, and the engineering notation okay, the engineering notation is basically. Um, the same thing as scientific notation, but we like to move things in threes. Engineers like to have three decimal places. So if we take that same number again, that uh, uh, point zero 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 nine, and then we're going to end up with a uh, well, we won't get to that point yet. We'll just leave that one off for now. So <clears throat> as we're looking at this, basically our engineering notation says that our numbers want to be between one and 999 okay so that's what we're looking for we're looking for numbers that are between 1 and 999 so we've got this point zero 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 nine, and we're also so what are we going to do with it we're going to actually calculate it out or not calculate but we're just going to move our decimal so we move decimal to the right one two three so there's one group then we're going to move it one two three there's another group. Remember, we like to move in groups of three in engineering notation. And so what we're, we're, we're at six right now, but we are 0 .09. That's not 
between 1 and 999. So we have to move again. 1, 2, 3. So that gives us our original 90. So what does that equal? <clears throat> well, it's going to equal 90 times 10 to the negative 9. Okay? So basically what we end up doing is we're moving in groups of 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay? Now if we take a similar number, we go the other way. So maybe we have, this time we have a whole bunch of zeros after the 9. So it's this big giant number here. Well, what does that equal? Well, we're going to have to move our decimal again. So we're going to start here. We're going to move it in groups of 3. 1, 2, 3. And that's not between... Uh, what we're looking for, so that's still much larger than 999. 1, 2, 3. Now we're at 9,000. Well, not bigger than 999. We're getting closer. Let's see if we can get it all the way there. So then we move 1, 2, 3, and now we're left with 9. So our number that we have is basically 9 times 10, and we move this thing uh, 9 spaces to the left. So 10 to the ninth. Okay, so that's how that's how we would mark that out. <clears throat> so what you might notice here is that basically we're dealing negative nine nine. If we uh, change this number around a bit, and we'll get something along the lines of let's see here, my where my pencil go? Okay, so if we uh, change this number a bit. I go here and I put that many zeros. You'll notice it goes one, two, three, and now it's 900. So that would equal 900 times 10 to the third. So it goes three, six, nine, 12, both positive and negative. And those actually have um, some terms that we'll deal with. Let me move this down a little bit. And so what we can do is we can take that 900 and maybe we have. Uh, 9 times 10 to the negative 3. So what would that be? Well, that would be uh, 9, and then we move our decimal to the left. 1, 2, 3. So it would be point zero zero nine. No, excuse me, zero 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 nine. 1, 2, 3. So basically, um, nope, still wrong there. I'll get it. Don't worry. We'll get it eventually. We have our nine. We go one, two, three. So there's zero, zero, point zero, zero, nine. Okay, so that's our number. That would look like this. And what we can do is there's a there's a scale, and basically ten to the negative three is kilo. So ten to the negative three is equal to kilograms, like kilograms, kilobytes. Um, or excuse me, that's 10 to the 3. 10 to the negative 3 is milli, so I'm off here. So 10 to the negative 3 is like milli, like milligrams, millibytes, things like that. So this would be, uh, I could take this and replace it right here, and so I would then have uh, 9 mil of whatever, millibytes, milligrams, whatever. Okay. So if I had the same thing again, uh, we'll do it a little bit different color here just to make it a little different. If I had 9 times 10 to the 3, well 10 to the 3rd was kilo, kilobytes, so that can be swapped right in. So now I would have 9k of whatever I was doing. So we crossed that out and replaced it with the k. All right. So you can do that for all sorts of stuff. We deal with this mostly with um, resistors where we have maybe we have 976,000 uh, ohms and we want to convert that into a smaller number that's a little bit easier to deal with okay so basically that's your scientific and engineering notation you even got a little taste of uh, some of these pieces here uh, just be prepared for some questions uh, some to have some questions in class and be prepared we'll have a little activity uh, and also be on the lookout for some uh, essential questions that you may need to answer. After you've watched this, you may have to do a little critical thinking. So, All right, well, that's the end of scientific notation and engineering notation. We'll see you next time.